Hi, this is Tim Ashdown with CNG Monthly, and I'm here with the legendary Ed Boon, creator of the one of the creators of the Mortal Kombat series, and still working on the brand, which is so awesome. Yeah. My first question, my first question for you is, how has Mortal Kombat managed to stay relevant to gamers for over 20 years? Um, you know, that's a, that's actually a good question. I've asked myself that a number of times. I, if I had to guess, I would say that we're not afraid to change. You know, the first Mortal Kombat game and the fourth Mortal Kombat game and the sixth Mortal Kombat game are completely different, you know, kind of feeling games. We've changed our presentation a number of times and we've spanned over the cross of, you know, four consoles and an arcade game, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think we haven't been afraid to change the formula while keeping kind of the things that really give keep Mortal Kombat's identity and so I think it's you know not being afraid to change. That's definitely impressive. All right now we are here to talk about the PlayStation Vita because we are at the media launch event for the PlayStation Vita and there is a Mortal Kombat coming out for the Vita. That's right. All right so my first question is how does this version of Mortal Kombat take advantage of the features found exclusively on the Vita like the touch screen, the rear touch pad, things like that? Uh, well actually um, this is an exact, this has actually all the features of the Mortal Kombat that we released for the PlayStation 3 in April, and, uh, and then, then some. You know, Mortal Kombat for the PlayStation had um, 300 challenge towers. We created 150 additional ones that are specifically for the Vita that utilize the, the Vita's unique controls, you know, the touch screen, the accelerometer, and um, so players can actually go through these missions, you know, these kind of crazy things you're, you're fighting, Blood gets all over the screen. You have to wipe it off with your with your hand while you're fighting. You know, there's other missions where you know your character's head is kind of inflating, and you have to touch it to uh, stop it from deflating, or else it'll explode, and then you lose the match. So all these kind of crazy, like you know, um, novelties for this challenge tower mode. But in addition, we've really um, incorporated the touch into the fighting. So. Fatalities have always been something that are one of the tougher things to perform in Mortal Kombat. You got to go, you know, down, down, up, right, X, or something like that. And so we also let the player slash the screen uh, using gestures with the, the touch screen to perform fatalities or touching their X ray meter to do an X ray move. So we've incorporated it into the fighting, but you can still fight it, you know, as you've been fighting it on the console versions as well. So you've given, left the option up to the players on how they want to play the game. Exactly. Um, you know, and, and you know, Mortal Kombat um, is, is a fighting game, so we also wanted to have you know, the multiplayer features you know, so you can play the game ad hoc against somebody or you can go online and play against other players as well too. So we really wanted to keep that essence of Mortal Kombat, but also acknowledging that you know, portable gaming tends to be in shorter bursts than like console gaming. So we, we added features, the challenge tower mode and all these other uh, testers, you know, test your slice, test your, uh, test your balance that are um, specifically for that, um, uh, this, this uh, the console. Excellent, that's great to hear. What's the character selection like? Are there any new characters making an appearance in this version or are all the classics back? All of the classics are back, but all of the downloadable characters that we offered throughout the months after the release of the game, um, uh, Scarlet, Kenshi, Rain, uh, Freddy Krueger, and and e even Kratos from Mortal from from uh, God of War all made a return to this version. So we really wanted to make sure that we had all the content, all of the downloadable skins and costumes. They're all available from day one with this uh, version. That's awesome that it's day one. Now you mentioned that there is online functionality because the Vita has it. Is there online matchmaking, or are you playing with friends only? Um, oh no, there's 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 matchmaking. We we can we you know our you know, like I said, um, we really want to make players um, um, have the ability to place somebody any time that they want. You know, like I, the, the analogy I always bring it up: if you're in bed, you wake up in the middle of the night, you turn on your mach you, you turn on your Vita. We want you to be able to play against somebody right off the bat. So that that was a big part of our our design of the game was to give as many ways to hook up with players as possible. Excellent. Over the years, the uh, Mortal Kombat story has kind of gotten all over the place. We've we've rebooted. We've you know continued on. Now, you said that this is a, a, a different version of the PlayStation 3 version that was released last year. Is it the same story, or do we get a whole new story with this Vita version? No, it's the same story, but we do, you do get all of the, the kind of like what I call the console features. You know, I was surprised that we were able to pack all of the cinema. You know, we have this like, kind of like 8 to 10 hour cinema experience of playing the game where you have all this... Uh, the, 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 it's like a, basically playing a movie. You know, we packed all of that into there. Um, and, but the main content is 
from the from the original games is all in there, and in addition to all of the you know the additional challenge tower and the other game modes. But it's basically telling the same story from the from the the console version in April. Excellent. Now you mentioned that all the DLC is going to be available day one, which is great. But is there any other plans um, for post-release DLC or anything that will be distributed to the Vita after release? Um, no, certainly not that I that I am uh, aware of. Um, but like you know, I guess that that was the main thing was everybody was asking us, you know, is Kratos going to be in the game? Is any of the DLC going to be in the game? The answer to that is that it's all going to be in the game from the the uh, the, the additional stuff that was available for, from the PlayStation Three version. Yeah, so it's like a Game of the Year edition, which is yeah, yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, it's very close, yeah. Now you mentioned that fatalities being one of the most difficult things for some players to play off. So the one touch fatalities are back, or are you using the rear touchpad, or how are we going to be able to execute those fatalities on the Vita? Well, they're not one touch. You know, we, we do want to give players like some kind of a challenge, but it's 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 like the gestures. Like for instance, if Scorpion or somebody would be you know towards down towards you know X or something like that, mm -hmm. you would just slash towards the character oh, down. You know, and then towards the character again. So it's a lot more of a, um, it's similar to how you perform it with the the D pad and the buttons, but you don't have the button input that you have to worry about. So it's a lot more um, accessible to players who just don't have that kind of dexterity to perform those moves. Anybody can kind of slash, you know, with with your phones. Everybody's kind of used to those kind of gestures. What is the one thing that you hope Mortal Kombat fans or people who are new to the series are going to get out of this version on the Vita? You know what, everybody. Um, to me, the most special thing about this version is, you know, we have all this content, which is great. We have all this additional unique stuff to the Vita, but to me, that screen is such a beautiful screen, and the fact that when you turn that game on, anybody who's played Mortal Kombat, our, our latest one, you turn it on and you realize that you have that experience. You have that exact experience in a portable device, which, and, and once, you know, it's a hard thing for people to kind of pick up on until they actually see the screen. Um, you know, playing the game, you know, going up, doing the challenge tower, doing the arcade mode, doing everything, that the, the story mode, everything that you're used to with Mortal Kombat. When, once you kind of get it that you have it portable anywhere, that's the real magic is, you know, at console kind of power, you know, accessible anywhere. That's excellent. That's all the questions I have. So thank you very much, Ed, for speaking to us. Thanks, I appreciate And uh, look for Mortal Kombat.